Have you ever wondered what goes into that tiny bottle of perfume you spritz on every morning? It's not just a pretty scent. It's a story, a journey that begins long before it ever touches your skin. Today, we're going on an incredible adventure to uncover the secrets of the perfume industry, from a single flower petal to the final, exquisite fragrance. Our journey starts here, in the vast, fragrant fields of Grasse, France, often called the perfume capital of the world. Imagine waking up to the sight of endless rows of roses, jasmine, and lavender, their scents mingling in the morning air. For centuries, this region has been the heart of perfumery, and it all begins with the harvest. The process is incredibly delicate. Take the May Rose, for example. It blooms for only a few short weeks a year, and its petals must be hand-picked at dawn. Why so early? Because as the sun rises, the heat causes the precious essential oils within the petals to evaporate. A single picker can gather several kilograms of petals in a few hours, but it takes about 400 kilograms of these delicate rose petals to produce just one kilogram of rose, absolute one of the most prized ingredients in perfumery. The same goes for jasmine. These flowers are picked at night when their fragrance is at its most potent. It's a labor of love, a tradition passed down through generations. These farmers aren't just growing flowers. They're cultivating the very soul of the scent. Once the flowers are harvested, the race against time continues. They are rushed to nearby distilleries before their fragrance fades. Here, ancient techniques meet modern science. One of the most common methods is steam distillation. The petals are placed in a large vat, and steam is passed through them. The hot steam ruptures the tiny sacks of oil in the flowers, releasing their aromatic molecules. This scented steam then travels through a cooling system, where it condenses back into liquid. Because oil and water don't mix, the fragrant essential oil naturally separates and floats on top of the water. This golden liquid is the pure, concentrated essence of the flower. It's incredibly potent. A single drop can fill an entire room with the scent of a thousand blossoms. Another method, often used for more delicate flowers like jasmine, is solvent extraction. The flowers are gently washed with a solvent that dissolves the aromatic compounds. This process results in a waxy substance called a concrete. The concrete is then mixed with alcohol to isolate the pure fragrance oil. Known as an absolute, each method yields a slightly different aromatic profile, giving perfumers a diverse palette of scents to work with. Now, with these precious oils extracted, we move from the fields to the laboratory. This is where the true artistry begins. We meet the nose, the master perfumer. These individuals are part artists, part chemists, with an almost supernatural ability to identify and combine hundreds, sometimes thousands, of different scents. A perfumer's training can take over a decade. They memorize the scent of countless raw materials, both natural and synthetic. Yes. Synthetic molecules play a huge role in modern perfumery. They can replicate scents that are impossible to extract from nature, like the smell of a sea breeze or a summer rainstorm. They also provide stability and consistency, ensuring your favorite perfume smells the same bottle after bottle. Creating a new fragrance is like composing a symphony. The perfumer works with a perfume organ, a tiered desk holding hundreds of small bottles of raw materials. I carefully select and blend these ingredients, drop by drop. A fragrance is built in layers, known as notes. First, you have the top notes. These are the first scents you smell when you spray a perfume. They are usually light and fresh, like citrus or herbs, but they evaporate quickly. Think of them as the opening act, designed to grab your attention. Next, the heart notes, or middle notes, emerge. These form the main character of the fragrance. They are often floral or spicy, like rose, jasmine, or cinnamon. The heart notes are the true soul of the perfume, lasting for several hours. Finally, we have the base notes. These are the deep, rich scents that anchor the fragrance and give it longevity. Ingredients like sandalwood, vanilla, musk, and amber are common base notes. The perfumer meticulously balances these notes, creating a harmonious blend. 
A single formula might contain anywhere from 30 to over 300 different ingredients. This process can take months or even years of trial and error. The perfumer creates numerous variations or mods, tweaking the formula until it's absolutely perfect. Each version is tested, evaluated, and refined until it perfectly captures the desired emotion or story. Once the final formula is approved, it's time for large-scale production. The concentrated perfume oil, known as the juice, is mixed with alcohol in a small amount of water. The percentage of perfume oil determines whether the final product is an eau de parfum, which is more concentrated, or an eau de toilette, which is lighter. But the process isn't over yet. The mixture must then undergo a period of maturation. It's left to sit in large vats for several weeks or even months. This allows the different notes to blend and harmonize, resulting in a richer, more complex scent. It's like letting a fine wine age to perfection. After maturation, the liquid is chilled and filtered to remove any impurities, ensuring the final product is crystal clear. Now, it's finally ready for the bottle. The design of the perfume bottle is almost as important as the scent itself. It's the first thing a consumer sees. The bottle is a vessel for the fragrance, but it's also an object of desire. Designers and glassmakers work to create something that reflects the character of the scent inside. Is it modern and minimalist, or is it opulent and classic? The shape, the color, and the cap are all carefully considered to create a visual identity that tells the perfume's story. Finally, the perfume is bottled, packaged, and shipped to stores all over the world. When you walk into a department store, you're greeted by a dazzling display of these beautiful bottles. Each one represents that incredible journey we've just witnessed from a delicate flower petal picked at dawn. Through complex extraction and artistic blending to the final, elegant product. When you test a fragrance, spray it on your skin, not just on a paper strip. Your unique body chemistry will interact with the scent, making it smell slightly different on you than on anyone else. Give it time to develop. Let the top notes fade and allow the heart and bass notes to reveal themselves. You're not just smelling a scent. You're experiencing a story unfold on your skin. So the next time you hold a bottle of perfume, take a moment to appreciate the immense amount of work, passion, and artistry that went into creating it. It's a tiny bottle of magic, a liquid memory, and a testament to the incredible journey from flower to fragrance. Thank you so much for joining me on this aromatic adventure today. If you enjoyed learning about the world of perfumery, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more deep dives into the things that make our world beautiful. Let me know in the comments what your all-time favorite fragrance is. Until next time, stay curious 